How's everyone doing today? It's the day after Thanksgiving. It's uh, November 25th, and it's uh, 1.01 p.m. Just got a package, which in the last vlog you guys saw, I ordered a thing from Amazon, and supposedly it's here. Uh, it was a Rode brand video mic me for Android and smartphone and all that stuff or iPhone so I just got the package gonna do the quick unboxing real quick um, I didn't I wanted to vlog yesterday but um, here we go the um stuff again I went to Kirsten's parents for Thanksgiving, so we left Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving, spent the day with her parents, spent the night, and she helped cook, I watched the baby, spent Thanksgiving there, I had her relatives, and all that stuff, good stuff there. Um, so we came home yesterday, got home right around 7 p.m., so I didn't do a vlog, didn't do none of that stuff, even though I wanted to. Um, so, no one in the family really knows I do vlogs, on her side as well, I mean, I do share my videos on Facebook and Twitter, whether they actually watch them or not, or see that I do it, I don't know, but I don't vlog in front of the family, I, um, you've only seen me do it, me and the baby, Kirsten knows I do, but I haven't vlogged in front of her, so... It's here. Feels heavier than the last one. Save the box just in case I gotta send it back again. So, last time when I got this, this should have clued me off. There is the sticky tape right here that's supposed to seal the box. The last one I got. I cut straight across with my knife, like I'm going to do with this one. This was tampered with. I saw the fuzz from the microphone cover, wind cover, and the tape as it was put back down. Should have clued me off. I wasn't paying attention, but still, it could just mean the package was open. doesn't mean necessarily the product was missing. So... I opened the package, the wind sock was there, the booklet was there, the microphone wasn't. So, let's check this one real quick. And it is there. You can see it sticking out of the windsock. So, open this little doohickey up. So, here is the. It's not an adapter, it's like a boot that slides over the microphone and it squeezes against the phone so this is the phone camera I'm gonna be probably using it with the most so here is the windsock and the camera is already inside slides out nice and easy and then the little pamphlet the instructions so everything seems to be here so far. Opening up the doohicker. So it slides over just like this. That way you could put microphone or microphone, no, scratch that. Headphones, headphone jack. And so you Man, that is a tight fit from the other reviews that I've watched. <laughs> okay, so. 
So it's gonna slide into the phone like that. And this pushes forward to put a fit in there so it's not gonna turn on you. So you could vlog this way or if you want to flip it around so you do it away from you. You know, it's a directional mic, so whichever way it's going to point is the way it's going to pick up the best audio. It has like a reduction thing so you can't hear what's behind it. So that's how that's going to work. Then I'll have it in my tripod. So it's going to look much just like that when you're vlogging and then it's windy out that wind sock on there and you have wind cancellation uh, I'm gonna go test it out in the house play with it a little bit as I'm playing with Mackenzie so just want to do a quick video unbox that show you what I got that I actually got the product so I'm gonna go play with it and I'll throw a video together later today so I will see you guys in a little bit what will actually be a second once I get the video going, so I'll see you soon. Okay, so I'm now on the camera and testing the audio on the phone. Plug in the road mic me. Hopefully that changes the audio. But we'll find out. Um, I've been in the house for the last couple of hours. Uh, just watching movies with Mackenzie. And my dad came in from doing what he was doing. And he started watching some Christmas shows but I want to come out here and test this mic out because I need to test it I don't want to sit in there and <clears throat> in the house and vlog in front of my dad and my mom while trying to watch Mackenzie and all that stuff so um, that's another thing I gotta slowly break in the habit of so here's a quick test on that road video mic me and we'll see how well the audio does hopefully it's better um, I got it on without the windscreen windsock whatever you want to call it so, I look straight at it, I'm off camera, but hopefully it hears me. Anywho, so that's what I've been doing for the last few hours. But like I said, I wanted to get this test in and see if it's going to help um, the audio when I do my videos. So just the camera a little bit better. We'll see. Do a couple more tests. Um, while I was at Kirsten's family's house, her uncle just purchased a AR. Uh, got a short magnification or small magnification scope for it, a little short range. And then I happened around run into him that night at Walmart, and he bought a four to sixteen by fifty power. Uh, Bushnell scope, I believe. So, 
Um, he wants to get in touch with me and possibly set up a time to go shooting, let him shoot his, dial it in, and uh, get some trigger time on it. So um, I just wait to hear, see what happens with that. Uh, I picked up some more ammo. Walmart is out of their 100 round bulk boxes, but I got a 200 round bulk box of 40. So I need to try and get 223 because all I have right now is my hunting rounds and so, um, a few others. But I need to get another stock or some stock going. So hopefully. With today being Black Friday and Christmas around the corner, hopefully I'll get some in. Hopefully I'll find some, and they won't be out of stock until after the new year, which could be bad, especially with all these stupid gun laws now. But, anywho, um, so yeah, I might have another shooting day planned here shortly. I uh, need to get a hold of Billy. See when he's got time off and plan a outing with him or see what me and Kirsten can come up with. Um, Mackenzie's birthday is, uh, I think, three Saturdays away from tomorrow. Or tomorrow being included. After that, it's like two Saturdays. So then we have her birthday party. I am going to definitely film that because... It's her first birthday. I do not want to miss that. It may not be a vlog. It'll probably just be just random. It'll be a vlog. I'm sure I'll say some stuff to the camera, but um, it's mainly going to be for her, for our records, just her day. Um, so that's definitely going to happen, but with everything that's going on, um, I just need to start doing better vlogs, period. Um, it is the 25th, so Christmas is a month out now. Um, gotta get prepared for that. I gotta get something for Mackenzie and something for Kirsten. Uh, but I'm saying it's the 25th because it's the 25th of November, 25th day of no shave November, so... Still scruffy looking, like I said, I don't do facial hair too well, but, um, yeah. Uh, I did have to shave my mustache, or whatever you want to call, call it, the top, top half of the beard, because I cannot do it. It just irritates me, tickles my nose, curls on my lip when I'm, yeah. So, that's the only thing I touched, um, for the No Shave November. I don't grow out my hair. That stay shaved permanently, so I did grow this out a little bit, so I'm looking scruffy. Um, what else? Something else. Oh yeah. So tonight, um, I had to give Mackenzie to my mom for a minute, so I could run to the restroom, and she's wrapped in a blanket. So when my mom handed her back to me, I went to wrap her blanket around her, and I ended up punching the door jam and you can see that knuckles bruise split that one and that inside knuckle has a slight bruise in it i know it's nothing but god damn it hurts so i wasn't happy with that punching a freaking door jam about an hour ago i think Ugh. So, uh, here is my little mic test. Test, test, test. I hope it's working. I know from watching the videos of other people doing these on YouTube, when they purchase this mic, it doesn't enhance it a lot. Um, when you take the mic off and you're talking to me, you get depth. You could, you know... Tell I'm away from the camera when you plug in the mic if it's picking up my audio and when I plugged it in the I won't say the pitch or volume 
changes dramatically, but it brings the voice in a little bit closer, like it's in the pitcher, per se, rather than the voice sounds away from the pitcher when you're listening. And it crisps up the voice, so um, I know, like I said, it's not going to be a dramatic change throwing this microphone on here, but it's just going to crisp everything up. And then the big difference is when you out in the outdoors, outside, wherever, and there's wind, the wind sock and this microphone play a huge um, difference from what I've seen. So I'll have to do that one of these days to go out there and do a video in the wind and see how the audio does. But from what I understand and have seen, that's the big feature is the wind sock. It makes the biggest difference so you don't get all the wind noise. Like I said, when you're out and just using a f your phone, you know, the wind noise is horrible. So using this microphone and that wind sock, I should be able to be outside, gusty winds. You should be able to pick me up on the audio, nice, crisp, and clean, and not have any wind. So that will be the next little test I do with this little setup. But for now, um, like I said, just want to do a quick test, see how this thing works, if it does work, um, from just talking and then plugging it in. Hopefully there was a difference. But, um, like I said, for now, I'm going to go ahead and shut this off, uh, run back in the house, and uh, get Mackenzie ready for bed. And then, after I come back in here, put her down, I will close out this vlog. And, again, it's going to be a click, and I'll be back. But, it's going to be... Uh, Sorry, I don't got my glasses on. I can't tell the time. Uh, it's about 5.48, so 5.50, almost 6. Um, so I'll be out here then, you know, 9-ish, 9.30 maybe. We'll be in the house until Kirsten gets home. But uh, I'll come in here, record again, close out this vlog. But like I said, hours for me, just a second for you. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Don't go too far. Okay, so, <clears throat> back again to close out the vlog. And man, that is hell on the glasses. So, like I said, here to close out the vlog. Um, Mackenzie's asleep. It's 9.30. Kirsten should be home within the next 15 minutes. Um, Mom and Dad are about to head out actually to run to Target and get some more Christmas lights to finish the house. Um, Dad just got some of the, the old school big bulb looking Christmas lights, but they're new with the LED technology. So he wants to get a few more to finish outlining the roof and then do the front in front of the house so mom and dad are running out here shortly to go get some more lights like I said Kirsten should be home anytime baby's sleeping no, she's just not feeling good I think she's teething some more so that is that Um, still need to try and get a gun cleaning video in here for you guys. And... Yeah. So, at the moment right now, I'm bored. And can't find nothing good on. 
But earlier today, um, I shouldn't talk too loud so the baby's sleeping. Uh, the My Little Pony Equestria Girls trilogy was actually on today. So Mackenzie and I watched that this morning. And then this evening, um, Frosty the Snowman, Frosty 2, um, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, some of the older, better uh, cartoon Christmas shows were on. So I sat there with uh, Mackenzie and watched those. She seemed to like it, but uh, when Frosty came on, I was sitting at the table and feeding her a banana. And so I heard the theme song, or the song, Frosty the Snowman, so I started singing it. She looked at me and just started crying. So I don't know if it's my singing or the song. I don't know, but it affected Mackenzie. But after she saw the cartoon and how happy Frosty was, she mellowed out. But without seeing it and me singing, so I'm going to credit my singing voice. Um, but the reason I was saying that is I'm so bored right now, so I can't find really nothing that I wanted to really watch on TV. So while I'm talking to you and I'm watching TV as well, um, watching Happy Feet too. Like I said, I like I'm a cartoon person. So I got watch. Good shows or cartoons any day. Don't get me wrong. I like action and some of these other videos and genres or whatever you want to call them. But I want to be happy. I prefer kids' cartoons. They make you happy. Don't get me wrong. I won't do the sing and dance that they do. But for the most part, good shows. Watch them, they'll put a smile on your face. So why not? So, while I'm talking to you, closing out this vlog, watching cartoons, um, wondering if I should get another magazine for my 40. Because I have... This holster with a mag pouch on it, my little my little knife. Um, I also have a triple mag pouch. So there's four magazines plus the pistol. So my concept was: got the gun, got your four mags, you know. Four mag pouches, four mags. No mag. So I'm wondering if I should get a fifth. Contemplating. I probably am. I Well, I know I am. I'm just like that. Um, I do need to get some of those mag pouches for my AR mags. But let me think more magazines, too. Because I only have two 10 round mags that are full length. So I'll need to get at least four more so I could have a three mag pouch, two mags in each, and then maybe a seventh mag. So, you know, there's one in the gun. Decisions, decisions. So. I'll see what I come up with. But like I said, I still need to do this cleaning video for these, but I got my little station, if you want to call it that, right here, and the table and the trailer. But my laptop's in front of me. Yes, I could always move it, but I could always go out to the shed. I got a workbench out there. Then I just gotta go out to the 
shed and record a video when I get time when Kirsten's home sometime to watch the baby, but maybe I'll have to just say screw it, move the computer out of the way, find a way to record the top view of stripping and cleaning the 40 and the AR. Um, shotgun's good. I just cleaned that recently. The 22 is good. Just did a major cleaning on that. Had that thing. I think my dad got from when I was 18. I'm 30 now. And I just did a hardcore take the barrel out, take the action apart, all that. Um, last year. And, um, oh my god, I can't believe how much gunpowder there was in that thing. What was it? Twelve? No. Yeah, twelve years. Of gunpowder built up in residue. Dirty. It was fucking dirty. But yeah, I took it all apart. You know, took the barrel out, like I said, took the action out, took it all apart, cleaned it, heavy, heavy clean, and I think shot like a charm. Um, I was getting some misfires, some stove pipes, um, double feeds. I was having some issues with it, but I mean, it took 12 years to get that far. But, yeah, cleaned it, oiled it, and she runs as good as ever. Um, my shotgun, I haven't fired that in I don't know how long. For like a year. Because I think I got shot at getting ready for last fall's turkey season. So, yeah, it's been about a year since I think I shot that. Um, the twenty two two fifty. That's going on a year. Yeah, well, over a year. I think like last summer I shot it. Ever since I got the AR, it's always been the AR and the 40. Um, I even shot the 44 in God, I don't know how long. I need to like go out and do like a major shoot everything I got video. I need to make some target stands first. So, some target stands. Um, <laughs> yeah. Target stands and silhouettes and just go to town. I need, I need to find a spot where I could go at least 500 yards with the AR and the 2250. I want to get some long range shots in there. Um, my longest, I think my longest shot on a, was like on a clay pigeon uphill. I want to say it was like just over 300 yards, but. You know, you're shooting through trees and hills and climbs and all that stuff, and not ideal. Not really what I want to hike. I'd rather just go out flat. But where I do shoot, um, especially in that last video we saw where I did the Tannerite. I didn't estimate that, but I want to say easy 120, maybe 150 yards. So I think I'd probably stretch it to that tree line. You get about 200. Or there's like a spot off to the left 
where I have to like shoot on top of a creek. I could probably get about 300. We'll see. Figure something out. Or I'll just have to like wait till spring of next year. Excuse me. Spring of next year, run up country and find a spot that maybe go mountaintop to mountaintop or, you know, shoot across the canyon. See if there's any like distances I could get about 500 yards. We'll see. Um, other than that, I don't know if I said it in my last video. Yeah, I did. As I said, I didn't get 223. But this is what I got from Walmart. Winchester. 40 Smith & Wesson. 200 round box. Because I only have... This is the box from my last box like that. And I think there's... 20 rounds in there, and then my four mags are 10 rounders, and they're all loaded. So there's 60 rounds from the previous box, and then that's got that 200 round box. Oh, I should get another one. I need to get me a stock up on my 223, that's for sure. I know it's how it's going to close out this video, but then I'm going to ramble for a while. Well, I want to look on the camera. I want to look on the camera. This is how I know Kirsten's on Amazon at work. Don't know how well you can see that. But there's a maternity shirt right there. That wasn't there. When I was online earlier. Of course it didn't say like, you know, what's on you know two hours ago or whatever, but Yes, babe, I see what you're doing. One of the other things I need to find or finally get, but I've been waiting till I go down the hill again to the uh, Army Surplus store. So I don't know if they have them or not, but I want to get an LBE. If you don't know what an LBE is, it stands for Load Bearing Equipment. In the army, it looks kind of like a vest. That's got your molly gear on it. Oh, if you don't know what molly gear or web gear is, it's all the strapping where you get strap loads to. Load bearing. In the army, we have grenade pouches. We've had rifle mag pouches. I don't remember having pistol pouches. Um, but there's like compass pocket, just equipment. It you hold your equipment, it holds your load for your load equipment, and it bears the weight of it, load bearing equipment. But for 
my AR mags, my pistol mags, probably that holster. I want to find a LBE. There's one on Amazon by Vism, or it's called Vism by NC Star. Um, it is ACU digital camo. Haven't broke down and got it, even though it's only 30 bucks. I've been kind of waiting because I like to go down to the Army Surplus store, check out what they got. And also we purchase something there. But if all else fails, can't get it or can't find it, find something on Amazon. That is one thing I want that way. I'm at the range, shit hits the fan. I throw on freaking LBE. I got my mags, I got my pistol, strap my AR to the back. And uh, we run it. But we pack it as well. And so, another thing I've been wanting forever that I haven't broken down bought is uh, that Wheeler firearm torque wrench screwdriver thing. Just so I could you know, make sure all the nuts and bolts and all that stuff. Equipment on. My pistol, my rifle scopes, all that stuff is torqued properly. Want to get a nice heavy duty plastic um, AR case that's got the cutouts on stuff. Need to get an upper um, back firing sights for Kirsten's AR. There are some things I want to get. Got some uh, other priorities first. Anyway, Kirsten just got home. She's going to be walking any second. So I'm going to stop this and I will be back later. And we're back. Not sure how Kirsten is about being on camera yet. So I pause or stop when she gets in. Um, nice thing though is, she brought me a sweet tea. But, fucking McDonald's, they didn't give her any straws. Freaking bastards. Mmm. Oh, sweet tea. So, where was I? Yeah, just talking about stuff I want. On Amazon. <laughs> I don't know. I know if I go up to Grass Valley. And go to the range. The last time I was there. They had a whole. Rack pegboard. Hanger. Full of. XD40 mags. So, I might have to pick one up next time I'm up there, rather than the last couple, uh, actually, I think it came with two, and I ordered two more. So, but I think I ordered them from Springfield Direct. But I know she's got a baby doctor coming up here shortly. So I could run by the range. Possibly either just run in, grab a mag real quick, or, depending on how she's feeling, I can probably get a range video in. Well, I'd say second range video, because it'd be a second time there, but I didn't film the first time. So, it's possible to... Get a second attempt, I should say, at doing a range video. Hmm. 
Hmm. They always say, decisions, decisions. Not sure what I want to do. Hmm. Let's check out the YouTube, YouTube channel. Let's see, what am I at right now? Refresh. Ooh, come on, three more views. I'm up to three subscribers. Woohoo! I am up to 97 views. That's cool. If you're watching my stuff, thank you. I know my content sucks, but I'm just in here talking. Um, I know my shooting videos aren't the best, but thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I actually feel like I'm doing something. That's not all me watching them. Oh, baby's crying. I'll be right back. Okay, and back. Um, let's do a test right here. Part 5, part 4. Um, my heater is on. So let's see if this microphone... As a no noise cancellation, it should. Um, it should be only picking up my voice, nothing really from the side or the back. So, let's see how well this microphone picks up audio like it says it should. Because like I said, my heater's on. Um, so, it's currently 11.09. Um, Kirsten went and got me a straw. The baby woke up, but I got her back in bed. And Kirsten is now in bed as well. So now it is really time for me to close this vlog out real, real quick, I guess. So let's see how the microphone does. Gonna load all the videos from this phone onto the computer and give everything a listen and get uh, this video together and uploaded. So, thank you again for watching. Let me know how you think this microphone does, how the audio is. Um, haven't had any comments yet, so if anyone watches this, wants to leave a comment on how the microphone audio is, leave a comment. Um, if you want to know where I got it, let me know, and I'll throw a link on or just tell you what it is. But once again... road microphone video mic me it says for apple iphone and ipad but it works on android as well so i will see you guys in the next video have a good night see you guys later and like i said leave a comment if you want like and subscribe please